Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's Thursday. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the charts here. Um, barring any news that may come out, uh, l looking at the chart that we've got the spy up now, I, I still think we're we're heading lower. Uh, we came, we we are short term. We closed above the T line, so we have to give it that that bullish. Uh, uh, give it the badge for the uh, uh, short-term bullish. Uh, came up to the 34, just could not get above it, and I just, I just don't see getting much higher. Even if we do pull a little bit higher, I think there's a lot of overhead resistance. Uh, Pre-market here, it looks like we're headed down this morning already. Now, whether or not it stays down, we'll see. As Steve points out, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the, the the court ruling today that that could have some impact, some knee jerk uh, to the market possibly, uh, but uh, we'll see here. Still looking for a downside. Let's take a quick look at the dollar. I want to point out that the dollar is still dollar is still bullish. It's still acting good here. Uh, nice little T line run uh, above the twenty. It just keeps on 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 pushing higher. So we'll we'll have to watch that. Okay, a uh, few stock picks to today. Which uh, my stock picks are all long picks. So, and toward the end here, we'll take a look at a couple of inverses. Not forget about those and uh, ones that I held overnight. Uh, let's see, RMBS, which is a uh, stock I'm holding. Uh, we've had a nice run up. We've had a little pullback. Nice consolidation over the 34, the 20, the 50. Still looking for the, the directional target is still the 200 uh, simple up here, and we'll just trade it uh, in a in a upward direction. So far, it looks great. Uh, nice little pullback. Uh, nice little bullish engulf yesterday. We need to see that follow through continue. Uh, I will use something around the uh, 20, 34. Uh, yesterday's low, perhaps as a, as a, uh, uh, not yesterday's low, but uh, this doji over here. Two, let's see, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday's candle is a possible stop area. Let it kind of work a little bit. Uh, A O I, another one on the stock list. Uh, another one that rallied up. We get this pullback, this consolidation into the uh, 50 simple here. We've got a couple of lows the last two days. Held up well yesterday. In fact, in fact, uh, made some bullish ground. Uh, watching for this one to to possibly take off. If we uh, using these two tops here, draw a line. You can see the uh, the downtrend uh, has been broken, and now we're working uh, to the upside here. And that's O I E. Uh, we'll look for those swing targets. So swing one up here, swing two, then possibly swing three. Remember to trade according to your uh, strategy and your rules. GMO. GMO is another one. I love this chart pattern. It's just, you know, up and back. And what we're looking for is that up and back again. And uh, here we, you know, we're coming from this from this uh, double bottom. Let's open that up a little bit. Put a little double bottom in there. Coming from this double bottom, nice gap to the upside. Came all the way up. To the 200 area, great little pullback right to the 34, the 50. Um, another little uh, couple of candle bottoms right in here. Yesterday, nice action on the price uh, price action yesterday, closing above the T line. Nice swing trade up to this uh, recent swing high, and then possibly higher. Uh, BCRX. Uh, Nice bullish candle yesterday. Uh, found support the last couple of days here near the 34 exponential. We came up. You can see the little consolidation in here for about a week. Now we're looking for this to move higher. Needs to take out this high here. And then we'll look at something up into this area. If we can get to here, I suspect uh, I, sus I suspect we see uh, yeah, somewhere up between 460, 480 uh, on this as well. So nice little trading stock here. Uh, AIR. I know a lot of people in the room have been watching 
AIR the last few days. Uh, I've seen several comments on it. Nice little morning star, uh, rallied up, terrific in a pinball setup, and then came up and tagged the 34 yesterday. I still think it has some room to move. I would trade this on continued strength or anything to the right. Of course, the first target is going to be near the 50-day moving average, and then I would probably look at something uh, up in this area here. Uh, kind of a wide, wide target, but uh, 16 to 18 bucks somewhere up in here. Using that 200 is our directional target uh, on, on AIR. Uh, PVA. I think there's a few people in the room that's in PVA um, already. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, PVA coming out of this nice rounded bottom. Uh, let's see. Shrink that up. You, you can see the, the left side of the bowl over here. Uh, then we've got the bottom of the bowl. And now we're starting to move up on the right hand side. This is the bullish side. Uh, we've coming from a little gap. You can just see that gap just has taken off, hit the 200, back down like it should, and it just starts making these zigzags moves, uh, zigzag moves up. So up, down, little consolidation in here, and then it took off again. With a nice little pullback, doji gap up. I would certainly follow this up on strength. Um, follow it up on strength. Wouldn't be afraid to trade this uh, on an inside day today. Uh, anything in this area right in here and then add to on a breakout and that's PVA. MITK. Uh, MITK is setting up coming out of a little rounded bottom where we have a rounded bottom breakout up over the 20, the 34, the 50 has pulled back for a PBO entry uh, pullback opportunity. A uh, little Hiromi yesterday looking for either more consolidation here, let's just drag this down little more consolidation or a breakout over yesterday's and the previous day's candle would be an entry in here. Wouldn't mind buying it down in there and let it just let it ride until it's ready to start moving up. That was MITK. EDMC that's also setting up down here pinball uh, pinball setup. Coming from a definite downtrend we've pulled up over the 34 I'm sorry pulled up over the T line we're playing with the 20 now. We're just kind of, we're just just tucked up underneath it. We need to see that move over the 20. Good three bar consolidation here. Over the 20, we could see that 34 and the 50 in real short order. So uh, a nice chart right here. Okay, a couple of inverse uh, TZA. I held this overnight. Um, pulled back right into this, what what looked to me to be support area right here. Um, Let's see, entry of twenty dollars two cents. So uh, doing okay on it uh, right now. Uh, we'll see how today works. Uh, a lot of it's going to be news driven. We'll see how the market acts to some of the things coming out today. Uh, holding some TZA down here at a, uh, a good entry point. Let's see. I see it now at twenty dollars and thirty two cents. So a little bit green on it. Uh, TV IX. Another inverse. Uh, bought some TVIX yesterday, uh, five dollars and sixty-six cents. I see it's trading right now at five eighty-three. So a little bit green on that. Had a great entry on it. Uh, we'll see if a little fear comes in the market. We'll see what happens there. And then FAZ. I held a little FAZ over. I guess I had more here than I thought. Um, FAZ uh, in at twenty-four dollars and eighty-one cents. Uh, trading at twenty-five sixteen right now. So. It's uh, it's acting pretty good. Coming from this little doji uh, morning star signal here, up, nice little consolidation, looking for those buy points. So we'll monitor those. We'll see what happens there, and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, I want to thank everybody for all your uh, posts in the room this morning. That was terrific. Uh, uh, th thanks again. It's very very helpful to see the news comments and the and the articles. All right, everyone, have a great day trading and I'll be back in a little bit.